Today, I will tell you the fastest and most practical way to learn DevOps in 2025. So breaking into DevOps as a career choice is not easy and soon you will feel lost with all the tools out there. But if you follow the strategy that I am sharing today, you can learn the required skills to break into DevOps as a career in 2025. So first of all, start learning about any one cloud provider. Here's the truth. Almost all DevOps today happens on the cloud. Enterprises are moving to AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, or sometimes a mix of them. So instead of learning DevOps in isolation, start with cloud. Pick one provider, AWS is usually uh, the easiest to begin with, and focus on learning the basics, like virtual machines, networking, storage, and identity and access management. Second thing is to focus on doing the hands-on with containers. Learn the basics first, and then start learning about Docker. Practice building container images and running them locally. Don't waste time in creating projects. Choose projects from GitHub and start Dockerizing them by writing container images. Then take it a step further. Deploy those containers on the cloud. On AWS, learn how to deploy them on ECS and not just deploy app, but also see how you can deploy a highly available application on AWS by deploying it across multiple availability zones. Once you are comfortable with Docker and ECS, the next step is Kubernetes. Don't get stuck trying to install it on your laptop. Use managed Kubernetes service like Amazon EKS. This way, you focus on deploying and scaling apps instead of wasting weeks troubleshooting setup issues on local system. Make sure you use Terraform as it's cloud agnostic and most organizations use it as it helps you to create infrastructure as a code files for multiple providers. This is where DevOps get exciting. Use Terraform to create cloud resources, servers, networks, even Kubernetes cluster and keep a record of all in your personal GitHub account. To connect it all together, start with CI CD. Use tools like GitHub Action, GitLab CI, or AWS Code Build, Code Deploy, and Code Pipeline to automate builds, test, and deployment. Additionally, learn and experiment with few observability tools like CloudWatch, Prometheus, and Grafana dashboards, and show others how you made the end-to-end -end solution. Most importantly, you have to document everything in your personal GitHub account and share it with others. If you use someone's GitHub project, reach out to them and share whatever you did to enhance their work. This way, you can contribute and collaborate with others. Follow this process for three months, and I'm sure you will see things becoming clicking naturally for you and will help you in your interviews. So learning DevOps isn't by memorizing 100 tools. It's, it's by learning them in context of the cloud. So start with AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud, then add Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform, CI, CD, step by step. That's how you will build real skills that companies are hiring for today. If you found this information helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more cloud and DevOps content, and let me know in the comments which cloud are you learning the first, AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud.